Well, hello, commanders, engineers, and city planners. Uncle Jay here, back in Space Engineers. And today we're going to do a review and edit of your workshop ships. And I am standing on the FT-600 freight train by Awareness Logic. And um, before we get started, just um, if you noticed, like last three weeks, there's been no content. I pulled a muscle, been having spasms, and uh, pinched a nerve, and uh, been in a lot of pain. But um, right now I feel good enough to record, but I'm still having issues. So uh, let's get into the uh, review. All right, this is a transport ship or cargo ship, I should say. It is, um, I like it. It's really nice. If you guys know me, you know I love the industry battered look. And what's really nice about this ship is it is 3,596 BCU and only 226 blocks. Very, very, um, not a lot of waste on this ship. Very compact. Every block has its place. There's no like filler blocks or, or anything that's, um, doesn't need to be where it needs to be, which is really nice about this ship. Um, if you had a nice size printer, you could probably easily print this ship. Um, if it's early game and you don't have uh, superconductors yet or um, reactor parts, I mean, these could be swapped out for hydrogen engine. Easy. And then you could just weld these up except for the uh, superconductors. But uh, let's um, just go around the outside real quick. We have a uh, spotlight here on the front and we have our cockpit. Nice use of our um, industry uh Pillar, not pillars, what are they called? Beam blocks. We have some of our new hatches here, which I happen to like. We have two Gatlin turrets on either side, which are for defense. And sneaking in here is a uh, AI defensive block. We have three jump drives on this, four large hydrogen tanks, and uh, Jebediah, you know Jebediah, he loves boosters. And we got some, uh, oh, we got a camera here, O2H2 generators. Um, yeah, I mean, this is atmospheric capable, but you got to watch how much cargo you have on it. I haven't done a atmospheric planetary gravity test with cargo to see what it can hold. Um, just haven't been able to sit down in the computer chair that long. And I'm hoping to get through this very quickly so I can get out of this chair. But let's, um, let's head inside real quick. And yes, my throat is a little rough, so I do apologize. We do have Whip's uh, script on here, the door script. You know me, I prefer Izzy's, but it is what it is. Now this inside is really compact, but it has everything you need. We have the three batteries, the only batteries on the ship. Kitchen, cargo access, survival kit, armory, our cockpit. And up here we have our there should be two beds and a bathroom. So you figure... Oh, that's right. These have cargo on them, don't they? Oh, yeah, they do. Wow, check that out. You figure um, Earth hours, 24 hours, 12-hour shifts. So one guy on, one guy off. And then here is our programmable block. Snuck in here. I think that's great, these new blocks. Oh, let's jump down. Jump. Uh-oh. What happened here? Hmm, got stuck for their second there. Um, what the heck is going on? Oh, that's why. I must have accidentally turned off my jetpack. There is no gravity gen on this. But, um, these are our controls right here. Number one, tab number one. Nothing on tab number two. Um, I'm not going to do a thrust test and all that stuff because I want to keep this review short so we can go into editing. Um, I did say this was a Freight Train 600, right? Yeah, I already did say all that. Sorry about that. And uh, hydrogen only, as you can see. And I think that's much of a review as I'm going to do on this. Come on. Come on. That's why I like Izzy's door so much better. Because I don't know if you can change the time on, uh, on that one, to tell you the truth. So let me do a control C so that way we have a blueprint a back up here. And let's rotate this. Get them next to each other. 
and then this is the one we're going to modify show you what I would do to it which isn't much I want to try to keep the PCU count and the block count low so I'm going to keep that in mind but I think we can uh, I think we can improve things and uh, this world in case you're wondering is my review world and um, I was prepping for episode 3 of uh, the assault scavenger and that's about as far as I got that's you know before my back decided to uh, shit out on me so things that I would do to this um, I feel that there needs to be a little bit more armor on the cargo containers I feel they're a little bit too exposed so let's um let's come in here let's take out our Gatlin turret and I'm only going to do one side because I want to show what you could possibly do on the other side I don't think you really need cargo access here what's on this side I never looked on this side this one is a AI basic oh AI basic task block huh I didn't know that was hiding in there cool so let's take our beam blocks here uh, I think it's this gray go with the battered and uh, what I'm gonna do is I kind of wish you know in small grid you could um you got the spacer not the space what is it the conveyor um not the sorter come on uncle jay use your words i can't think of what it's called right now let me hit the g button this thing the frame conveyor frame where you could uh put something out one use the uh, half blocks underneath and then uh use a gatling gun but since we don't have that for this right we're going to use these and then we're going to put this here and i thought i had that on the bar i guess i didn't we're just going to use this one right here i don't need to use all of them uh, let's go with that facing down and then we put our turret um, that's not a turret number eight we could put our turret back on outside it's facing the wrong way it just um gives a little bit more armor it matches the overall structure of the ship we're not really changing anything and um it puts the gatlin turret one block out which gives it a um better arc of fire off the sides that is one of the things i would um i would change I like it. I like it a lot. Another thing we could do is, are these blocks on this tab or on this tab? Hmm, I thought they were on here. Alright, let's go to, uh, I think it's these ones. Let's put you here. What we can do is come over here this one no that's the wrong way that is definitely the wrong way guys here and then we're going to go with that there let's do the same one now this one i'm going to do on both sides just to um just overall you guys can see how it looks so let's grab our solar panels the new solar panels. Let's try the new solar panels. This one. Nope. Oh, it is raining outside. I find these ones a little hard to place, but I really haven't um, played with them. And then, I don't think there's any connection points here, is there? Not there, but there is there. That's really weird. Huh. So these are going to connect to this and to nothing else. Not crazy about that idea, but um, eh, it is what it is, right? And uh, yeah, then we can just change the color to uh, to the yellow here. We don't like the white. What do you guys think? Some solar panels? I think that uh, I think that looks good. You know, to kind of help with the uh, the charging there. 
like passive charging when you park the ship and your power down put the batteries on recharge turn your reactors off just let the, uh, the Sun do its job you know now another thing I think I would do is some point defense in the back maybe say take out one of these um, no I want number three and I want a beam block end and then let's go back to our gray number eight and then an interior turret why are you going crazy on me just to uh have it set the small grid um people missiles meteors just a little just a little extra protection um i don't think i would do anything actually i'll show you what i'm going to do underneath up front here i think this one we get rid of this light here and let's put that there i like it i like it yeah but we uh, should put some lights back on this ship, I think. Let's go to light. And let's grab um, this one right here. And then we can put our spotlights. Uh, here in these corners. And I think it serves the same purpose as forward looking and um, off to the side, which we didn't have before. And also uh, straight down and kind of where the connector is. You could light up the docking pad you're, um, you're connecting to. Let's see, something else I would do to this underneath here. I think maybe, I think the only thing the ship is really lacking is lights. I think that's the only thing the ship really needs is just more um more lights maybe uh hmm what could we do maybe a light panel here and a light panel here and then maybe how about we go with some hazard skin To uh, add a little protection to the uh, cargo containers. That's so weird. There's no contact point for that. Hmm. And then maybe something like like this. So there's a front contact point for the. Uh, for these and then this can just be actually that is bothering me I don't I hate how the uh, uh, what do you call it they don't line up ooh, 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 let's hold on P button Uncle J the P button there we go And that way the jump drives have a layer of protection and underneath the cargo containers have a layer of protection and um, some lighting to uh, light up this connector here so I think that's the only thing that was really um, missing yeah that way you can light up where you're docking but I think that's pretty much the only thing I would um, do to this to tell you the truth let's do a uh, control C so, you know, we up the PCU a little bit, but not too much. I think it was um, adding the armor was worth it, and I didn't even do this side. And if you need yourself, um, maybe you need a little extra thrust in gravity. You could. Come on. Come on. I don't know why it's being so difficult. Let's grab you. you could put that there. And then this one this one and then we can just um you could add say something like this to make it look fancy and then your uh your thrusters 
probably won't, wouldn't need those ones, but you know, just giving you guys an idea if you need more down thrust and atmosphere for um, more cargo. And then you can always put your um, turret back on. And uh, full fairness, this is my second time recording this because the first time I forgot to turn the microphone on. And uh, we're about 15 minutes ahead of where I was last time. So let's me hide this. So this is pretty much what I would do to it. Um, suggest downloading this ship. Um, go and visit on the workshop. Give it a thumbs up. Play with it. You know, see what you think. And the only thing left is to uh, put it through the grinder. Yeah. Why not? Let's do it, guys.